Don't let my crew hear you say that. Do you have a crew? This is Carl. He's two years older, but we're in the same grade because I skipped a grade and he was left back. Is that what happened? I knew something was weird. And this is Iris. She thinks life is a giant talk show and she's a host. That is not true at all. <laughs> Gulliver, that's a very interesting suit you're wearing. Tell us about it. Oh, this? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You know, it's made of a space-age, water-resistant polymer. It comes in pretty handy when you're living in the wettest place on Earth. Fascinating. Now, it says here that you grew up in a cave. What was that like? You know, it uh, forced me to acquire a number of awesome skills, like uh, I can see in the dark, I uh, have lightning-quick reflexes. How does living in a cave give you lightning-quick reflexes? Oh, I'm sorry, were you going to ask a follow-up? It's OK, Carl. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> well. Living in a cave, you gotta forage for your own food. And catching rock lizards is only for the... You've been dealt a crushing blow, but our audience wants to know, what's next for Harold Conway? We can't beat him four on three. We have to force... I him. really didn't. What do you mean you didn't? How did you hear me? That was amazing. Carl, you are a terrible whisperer. You don't lower your volume. You just say it loudly in a whisper voice. Do I really do that? You do. Fast Bainbridge. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Just in time. I can't deny it. You got your name on the roster before the deadline. There is one small issue. In order to participate in the hockey hoedown, a student must be passing all their classes. And I'm afraid since Mr. Tracksuit over here got an F in astronomy, I have no choice but to declare him academically ineligible. Let him play! Please. <laughs> Whatever. You're still going to get crushed. Man has some very specific stamps. Hey, guys, come here. Uh, I'm out, I guess. What happened? Principal Bainbridge wouldn't let us stop playing, and now we only have two minutes left. Okay, so we just have to score ten goals, don't we? How? We're doomed. No, we're not. We just have to play to our strengths. We don't have any strengths. Not true. Iris, the way you went off on Bainbridge back in his office, you're fiercely protective, uh, like a mama tortoise. And Carl, their defenseman totally has a crush on you, so when she has the ball, distract her with a simple smile. You think that'll work? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, probably. <laughs> I imagine some girls find your classic good looks appealing. Not me, of course. And Harold, you're awesome. <laughs> but you're letting Dick Jr. walk all over you. He's a very skilled player. No, he's not. He's a cheater. And in order to beat him, you're going to have to fight fire with fire. You want me to break the rules? Gulliver, you know I can't do that. Harold, I, I love that you're into rules and all. I do, but that's the great thing about being a kid. Sometimes you're allowed to break them. 